$1 billion in federal grants are now up for grabs in our region to pay for upgrades to protect salmon and other wildlife. Secretary of the U.S. Department of Transportation Pete Buttigieg met with our state's congressional delegation for a statewide tour, starting in Wenatchee and ending today in East King County. Fox 13's Steve Kiggins shows us the aging infrastructure that officials say keeps salmon from thriving. My people, they made an agreement with the salmon that we were going to take care of the fish and the fish were going to take care of us. This is where Cary Creek goes under 276th in the community of Hobart. King County and state officials counted thousands of culverts like this one that due to age, damage and design make it so salmon in our region can't reach spawning habitat they once used for generations. We have a first of its kind program. We have a billion dollars behind it and therefore the chance to do more than has been possible in my lifetime and then some. USDOT Secretary Pete Buttigieg toured this creek with our state's congressional delegation, part of a statewide tour announcing $1 billion in federal grant money now available and up for grabs for governments and agencies to apply for, all to pay for projects that remove and improve infrastructure like this culvert. King County officials say the repairs work. As soon as the stream is reintroduced to the new channel, the fish come back. Uh, that will start a cycle. That cycle includes orcas and more wildlife that ultimately depend on strong salmon runs. It stretches into the hospitality and tourism industries and beyond. Repaired and improved infrastructure also cuts down on road damage and flooding events. Though more improvements are needed, this kind of investment is big. Investing in Washington for generations. One of my uh, relatives, she said, in order to heal our people, we have to heal the land. So this is an opportunity to heal the land, to restore the natural stream bed. Your Hobart, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.